All right, folks, feel the excitement ramping up as I unbag. What is that? All right, folks, feel the... <laughs> it is from Amazon, even though it doesn't actually say Amazon on it. Uh, it was one of those... Whoa, hold on. Hey there, real gamers and gatekeepers, Retro Rob here, and it's time for Mail Haul. That's right, the video that's half mail, half haul, and all awesome. If you have very low standards. Anyway, I've got about six items here I want to show you. Uh, some of them came in a little bit earlier. Some of them just showed up on my doorstep, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of, I, I just can't wait to open them. So let's just get started. Warning, radiation at unsafe levels. Alrighty, folks. First item coming in from Amazon. Though it's not labeled that way, it definitely is. Pretty sure I know what this is. I'm pretty sure this is a Switch game. There we go. Welcome to ASMR moment. Except I have my light. Did you hear that? <laughs> All right, here we go. This is Vostok Incorporated, which is actually a really cool game. I first ran into it on Amazon Prime's uh, free games. Amazon, by the way, gives away games. Oh, I hate that lighting. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Much better. Okay. Yes, Vostok Incorporated. And uh, yeah, ran into it first on Amazon. I really like this game. It's one of those games, I don't know if you've ever heard of, I, I think it's called Paper Clips Unlimited, where you just keep producing stuff and building on it. It's a little bit like Cookie Clicker was too, but it's a dual stick shooter in space with some of those elements. Really cool little game. Uh, Vostok Incorporated is the first action arcade clicker. Twin stick blast enemies, find asteroids, wait, enemies and asteroids wow the lighting then embrace your quest for moolah as you colonize explore find exploit over it does say that no it's explore and ah! the world's first action arcade clicker vostok incorporated is the world's first action arcade clicker twin stick blast enemies and asteroids then embrace your quest for moolah as you colonize, explore, and exploit over 40 planets across six solar systems. Harvest resources and rescue executives to multiply your profits while you stay blissfully entertained by a host of captivating minigames. Contains a Vostok sticker sheet, digital soundtrack download, and numbered 1 million moolah note. Yes, I'll be doing an unboxing of this and a gameplay. I like this game. Let's go on. Next, all the way from the UK. Can somebody guess what it is? No? All right. Oh. <laughs> it's a great video. Class. All class. It's not... You have one job! One job you had! Alright. We'll use the stabby stabby thing. That is the uh, technical term for this. Stabby stabby thing. There. Class. Alright. Two items in here. And first is the Evercade Jellico Collection. It's Jellico, right? I think I heard it pronounced digitally once. Uh, we used to call it Jellico or Jellico, but I think it's Jellico. Anyway, on the back, we've got a lovely series of games. Here we go for the Evercade. If you have not checked out the Evercade, got some videos on that. Uh, this will definitely show up in a video at some point. I'm not a huge fan of uh, sports games, and there's a lot of them in here, but uh, Earth Defense Force is in here, and that makes it worth it to me. So, pretty excited. And totally rad! <laughs> totally rad. 
All right, let's go on. I'm gonna turn down the light a little bit here again. I think we had a little bit too much brightness in there. And then of course the second one is Pico Interactive. Let's change this angle. They're much happier with that. Pico Interactive Collection. Uh, the one that I really am going to want to show you first is Soccer Kid. It was kind of a big deal on the Amiga, which of course was one of my early computers. I think it was my, I think it was my third computer. Uh, I had the 500, and then eventually I had the 600. By the way, no, it was my second computer. I think it was. I think I went from the 64 to that one. Or my parents bought me a GS, and then. I bought the 500. Something like that. I was saving up for months, I remember that. It's a lot of, a lot of lawn cutting. Anyway, uh, Top Racer 2's in here. Uh, they called it uh, Top Gear here in the US. Pretty excited about that. My wife was really good at this game. Just a lot of uh, interesting games on here. And pretty excited to do a video on that. Here you go. And now we're at some pickups. First one here is Snack World The Dungeon Crawl Gold. Picked this one up off of Amazon. I was looking for an RPG to play. Um, you know, <laughs> I don't know, crazy idea. I could play one of the many that I've already collected. But this one looked kind of weird. It's, how do I explain it? Well, let's let them explain it. Let the dungeon crawl begin. Create your own character to captain a colorful cast. Collect summonable companions called snacks. It's very confusing. And equipment called Jaras. I think it's called Jaras. Or Jorez. I don't know. To turn the tide of battle. Delve deep into randomly generated dungeons to bag ever better booty. That's right, you're going to be bagging some booty. Great. Join forces with friends in local and online multiplayer. Haven't tried the multiplayer yet, uh, but so far the uh, actual battles have been pretty enjoyable and I've been having a good time with it. It's not amazing, uh, but it's okay. Let's go on. If you watch this channel regularly, you've probably seen me play the original Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. This is the remastered version. I have so far only done one race, but my goodness, is it a great experience thus far. I really love the original, play it quite a bit still. Uh, usually, I, lately I've been playing it on the RG351, and it's just marvelous on there. And this is pretty marvelous as well. And there's the back of it. And nothing really exciting is down below, so I'm going to show you this. And I might do this one. This one's... It's kind of hard to do a gameplay on this because I'll probably have to turn the music off in order not to get uh, the copyright patrol on me. But anyway, it's time to reignite the pursuit. Unleash a savage sense of speed as both outlaw and cop in a... <laughs> wow, look at that. Socially competitive racing experience with enhanced visuals and something crossplay. Crossplay, yeah, you can crossplay it. It's really hard for me to read this lettering. It is really, really tiny in real life. The print is so small on these that even with my reading glasses, I cannot read them. That's insane. I don't need reading glasses for reading books, but I need it for the back of these boxes. That's just crazy. But anyway, looks exciting. I'm surprised no screenshots. Next, we have Minecraft Dungeons Hero Edition, which I've been on kind of a Minecraft kick lately. Oh yeah, and I've got a video coming up about that. I have access to a uh, Minecraft world that we created nearly a decade ago, and I'm actually able to play on it. And I was gonna take you guys for a tour of that. But anyway, uh, Minecraft Dungeons Hero Edition includes a hero pass it's an rpg i've heard good stuff about it so again i've been on kind of a action rpg kick i really wish i'd put some pictures of the game up here but i'll try and sneak some in uh anyway real quick description unite fight and survive 
fight your way through an all new action adventure game inspired by classic dungeon crawlers and set in the Minecraft universe. Up to four friends can play together or you can brave the dungeons alone, which I'm gonna do. Battle new and nasty mobs across action packed, treasure stuffed, wildly varied levels and in an epic quest to default, <laughs> default, oh, I'm reading good today, defeat the evil arch illager. I think it's illager. Man. Tiny print is the order of the day. Again, you're seeing it on like a big screen. This is like the tiny corner of a little box. Anyway, pretty excited to play this one, honestly. And I got one more to go. All right, here we go with the last thing I got in this haul video. It's Super Monkey Ball and Sonic Forces 2 in 1. This was 30 bucks on sale at Target, but I believe you can get it at Best Buy for the same price because they generally match each other on their sales. I don't know if you've noticed that, but it's, you know, it's not it's not really worth it to go to one over the other unless you have like another reason to be there. But anyway, Super Monkey Ball uh, Banana Blitz is the target, and this is a game my wife and I used to play a whole lot of, as well as my son. Uh, like this one, this is one of the few competitive, like, against each other games we play. Uh, really enjoy it, just, uh, I don't know why, it's just, for some reason, really is an enjoyable game to me, but uh, it does have both games, so it's got a bonus, and just Super Monkey Ball goes for this price, so, hey, not bad. Um, the beloved arcade franchise is back. Run, tilt, and jump as you help Ai and his friends reclaim their stolen bananas. Yeah. Single player is okay too, but it's multiplayer is where it's at. And then, of course, you've got Join the Uprising with Sonic. The evil Dr. Eggman has taken control, and you must defeat iconic old villains and fight powerful new enemies. I'm going to say fight powerful new enemies, even though it says enemy, to reclaim the world. Great stuff. Boy, it doesn't feel like it should be the end, does it? But it is. And that's it for this mail haul video. Let me know what your favorite item is down below. Gonna have some new videos coming up. Uh, like I said at the beginning, I should be going back to three videos per week now. And the next one, Endless Forms, most Pokito full on the Pokito. Hope you guys are looking forward to this one. Uh, some good 8-bit classic gameplay. Read about this one actually in the Pokito magazine. Uh, Zocker Omi covered it, and I'm going to do some gameplay of it. All right, that's it. End of the video. Thank you very much for watching.